Ooh, less than three weeks away until Halloween, so we're doing some more Halloween science experiments with the Kitchen Pantry Scientist. Liz Heineke joins us now live from her home. Hi, Liz. Hi, how are you guys? We're outstanding. We can't wait for Halloween. What are, what are we doing today? Well, first I was just going to show you the seedless rock candy we started last week. Isn't oh, that pretty? yeah. That's yeah. great. Boy, that looks good. That's really yeah. coming along. Yeah, so um, this week we are going to continue with the eggs. So you can remember we put these eggs in vinegar. Yes. And so now we have these rubbery eggs. Um, whoops. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm going to get a different one. <laughs> All your hard work, Liz, over the past week. That's okay. I have, I have another one. I always have backup. <laughs> so the shell dissolved, and now all that's left is this um, inner membrane. So they're really cool. They feel like rubber. If you look through them, you can sort of see the yolk. Oh, okay, the next so step creepy. is that you can take some corn syrup, put these rubbery eggs in them, and what happens is... The water moves out of the egg into the corn syrup. It's through a process called osmosis, and the eggs shrivel up. I put some green food coloring in there too, but you get these cool like alien monster eggs. Wow. Those are fun. Aren't those fun? That's neat. They're a great Halloween centerpiece. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> next project. Um, and this is one I'm really proud of because I made it up probably 10 years ago and it's uh, now it's all over the internet. So um, you basically, I call them Frankenworms, but you basically take regular gummy worms, you cut them into really, really thin strips like this. Okay. It's very, it's very important to cut them into thin strips. And then you soak them in baking soda and water. So we're gonna do a chemical reaction here. You soak them for 10 or 15 minutes in baking soda and water, and then you drop them into vinegar, which I'm doing in here. And there's a chemical reaction between the vinegar, which is acetic acid, and the baking soda, and you make carbon dioxide bubbles. So if you watch, you'll see that the worms start to get bubbles on them um, because of this reaction. They wiggle, hey, Liz, they can move, you, Liz, can you they... hold it up a little bit? We can't see with our weather watcher down there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And can you see that? Yeah. So they're starting to wriggle. They look like they're alive. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, that's cool. There they go. So it's a, yeah, Frankenworms. It's is, a super fun experiment. This, these are all on my website. So. Baking soda is kind of magical, right? Yeah. That baking soda vinegar combination. It's sort of what we see in like the the science experiment that everyone does, making their own like volcano, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And it's it's a really safe, easy chemical reaction to do at home. And most people have baking soda and vinegar in their exactly. kitchen. Exactly. Yeah. All right, one more. We have time for one more, Liz. Okay, last one. Take some bags, fill them with water, add some red food coloring so that it looks like blood, and you can make leak-proof, you can call them vampire bags, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Take some uh, bamboo skewers. If you poke them through the bag, can you see this? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. They go in one side and out the other, and they don't really leak. Hmm. And that's because plastic is a polymer. It's really good at forming seals. So um, it forms a seal on either side of the skewer. So kids can do this. It's kind of like gruesome looking. They can see how many sticks <laughs> they get through the bag. Oh, I awesome. did, did not expect that one. <laughs> Very good. Love it. Liz, yeah. thank you. All those experiments, as Liz mentioned, are on her website, kitchenpantryscientist.com.